Let me ask you this question. As an atheist, do yes. you believe in truth as a concept? I, yes, I believe in 100% truth in the fact that, um, as you can see, I'm wearing a black jacket. That is 100% truth. Can you deny the fact that I'm wearing a black jacket? If I'm colorblind, it wouldn't be black, but I'm not colorblind. But so are yeah. you colorblind? No, no, not. no, no. So this is 100% fact. This is 100% truth. I'm wearing a black jacket. Well, actually, actually, well, I guess. I guess. Can you deny that? Brother, brother. brother. Uh, it's really no, nice to no, talk to you. No, it is. I'm free. Just keep me free. Thank you for your contribution today. Happy <laughs> Easter. Happy Easter. Here. Some gifts. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Take care. Go on, you say. Yeah, he, he, oh, you want one. Sorry. Yes, of course. Happy Easter. Okay, you used to be a Muslim and you became an atheist. Right. Shall we go somewhere quieter? Let's go somewhere quieter so we can pick you up on, on the microphone. Basically, the, the New Testament of the Bible regarding the life of Jesus, yeah. I think a lot of it is lies. Okay. A lot of in the in the case of the the, the life that Jesus has. Yeah. And looking into the book by Reza. Yeah. There's too many there's too many uh, things that don't make any sense. Such as. Um, okay, I'll, I'll start with the Sahindran trial. Okay, right. The, the trial with Jesus and Pontius Pilate. Yeah. Now in the Bible, uh, Pontius Pilate says, "Look, I I can't find any fault in Jesus. Yeah. This man is basically perfect, and um, let's I'll give you someone else to crucify. We're going to give you Barabbas instead." And the, the, the Jewish people in the crowd say, no, no, we, we don't want Barabbas to get crucified. We want Jesus to get crucified. Okay. He has blasphemed or whatever excuse they've come up with. Basically, what Reza's trying to explain to Christians is that verse, that story in the Bible has been made up. Because for one thing, uh, Pontius Pilate does not need the approval of the Jews to crucify Jesus of Nazareth. He never asked for the approval of the Jews. Well, the Jews persuaded him to crucify Jesus. They pressured him to crucify yeah, Jesus. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They pressured him into crucifying Jesus. Yeah. Pontius Pilate does not need to listen to the Jews. He doesn't, but why does he? Because it, I, what, basically what has happened is an open shut case. Jesus has committed, I, to me, Jesus has committed treason. That is why he's been crucified. He That's has, the reason that they, they, they pushed on, on Pilate, yeah. He has committed treason by attacking the temple. The Bible mentions the fact no, that- No, 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 hold on. That, that was not a punishable offense according to, to Roman law. They weren't bothered by that. They weren't bothered about these petty skirmishes between the Jews. No, no, he attacked the temple. Yeah. They weren't bothered by that. No, the, 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 the Romans were not so bothered by that. The Jews were bothered by that. The Jewish people of the time were bothered by that. Pontius Pilate, what Pontius Pilate was worried about was a revolt. He was worried about unrest in the province because it would affect his career. It would affect his standing before Caesar. It would affect his own ability to progress in the Senate. It would affect his own standing within the Roman honor system. Okay, I'll ask you this question. This is the question I always ask Christians. Let's see if you've got the answer. Because no, no Christian has really got the answer to this question. They beat around the bush, they make some kind of excuses. But I'm going to ask you this question. Why was Jesus crucified? Why was he crucified? Obviously, you believe that Jesus is the perfect man, yes? You believe he's the Son of God, God at the same time, the Holy Spirit, three in one, Trinity. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Why was someone who is perfect, be, why would a perfect person be crucified? A perfect person is someone who doesn't make a single mistake. Can I ask a question? Are you looking for the theological answer or the historical answer? I've got the answer. That's why I'm an atheist. Well, no, I'm asking, you're asking me a question. Yeah, yeah. And I need to clarify in what way you're asking that question. Are you asking theologically or historically? I would say in this context, historically. Historically. So the reason why Christ was crucified historically was that the Jews were um, wanting him dead because he claimed to be God and he claimed to be the Messiah. Okay. And that's why they wanted him dead. But they didn't have the authority to kill anyone. They had to take it to the Roman governors for that to happen. The Roman governors were not interested in the petty little squabbles of the Jews about this teacher saying this or that teacher saying the other. They didn't really care. So when the Jews came to Pontius Pilate, they changed their accusation to he has made himself king and there can be no king but Caesar. So they turned it from a theological issue to a political one. And um, Pontius Pilate was concerned for his own reputation, for his own standing, for his own benefit, that there shouldn't be revolt or disturbance as there often, would, uh, as there often was in Palestine 
as there often was in Palestine. So he acquiesced to the Jewish demand to have him killed, despite trying to have him not killed. So that, so, that's the reason historically so, why you, he was crucified. Do you believe that Jesus has done nothing wrong in the case that he's been crucified for no reason? Is that what you're saying? Yes. So he's done nothing wrong? I believe that. You understand attacking the temple was treason because the temple is under the jurisdiction of Rome. So by attacking the temple, he's indirectly attacking Rome. So that is high treason. I spoke to an evangelical Christian called David Lynn. He came to Speaker's Corner. I remember a few months back. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke to him and even he admitted, even David Lynn, the Canadian evangelical Christian, even he admitted that Jesus probably committed Can treason. Can I reply? Because I think my reply will, will help to elucidate this conversation. We Christians don't judge what is right and what is wrong by what the law says. The state says that abortion is okay. We Christians say it's wrong. Okay, yeah. The state says that the definition of a family is whatever you want it to be. Yeah. We Christians say that is wrong. I agree with you. One second. That issue. We Christians <laughs> say that it is good and acceptable to adopt. Sharia law has no concept of adoption. So what the state says is right and wrong is not of any consequence to us. When I say that Christ did nothing wrong, I mean that he did not break God's law in any way. Whether he broke the laws of the state, we can debate. But for me, if you break the laws of the state because you're keeping God's law, you've done nothing wrong. He still got crucified. He still committed. He was crucified. He yes. still committed treason, I believe, 100%. Wait, I am telling you that from a Christian point of view, that if to follow God's law, you have to commit treason, you're guiltless. You have committed no crime. But you, you see, you're doing the stuff. You're a very good Christian. You're doing what every Christian should do. You are defending Jesus. Yeah. That is your job as a Christian. Like, like the job of a Muslim is to make excuses for Muhammad. Yeah. That's what every Muslim does. Your argument that 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 the disturbance in the temple that's recorded in, in for example, John 2. Jesus attacked the temple, that is a fact. The what, Bible even mentions it. What, what, in John 2, what he does is he overturns the money changers tables and he drives out the animals. And there was a fight and a disturbance inside the temple. And Christ upset a lot of people that day. Yeah, but that was not constituted as treason towards the Roman state. Let me give you an example of what is treason to the Roman state. Treason to the Roman state is what happened to the earliest Christians, who, when they were commanded to give um, um, homage and, and worship um, and glory to the, the Caesar as a god, they refused. They wouldn't burn, they wouldn't put the salts on the burning incense to give uh, the worship to Caesar, because that was to say that Caesar was Lord, and Christians would reply, Christos Kyrie, or Kyrie is Christos, Christ is Lord. Not Caesar, not Kaiser is Christos. So not believe, Kaiser so is Christos. So you believe in the whole, I, the whole story re regarding it, the, the fact that even Pontius Pilate's wife gets involved, that she had a dream of Jesus and this man is innocent. Don't, don't you think yes, I believe of, that. Don't you think all of this has been made up? No, I don't. They need to come up with a story. Why, why should I believe that it's made up? There's many, okay, I'll explain. Look, I, I can't convince you. I'm not here for you to become an atheist. I'll be wasting my time. And you won't be able to convince me to become a Christian. I'm, I, I'm far if too you're making those decisions from the beginning, then probably not. However, I think that... No, but what, I'm hold on one second. Are you willing but, to become an atheist second. today? What, what, Are you if, willing to become an atheist no, today? No, let, let, I'll answer that question. <laughs> I'll answer that question. If atheism is the truth, yeah. I want to be an atheist. Yeah, but you're not interested in the truth. You're, in, you're interested in biblical Actually, truth. Actually, I'm really interested in the truth. You believe in biblical truth? I'm really you interested in the truth. You believe what the Bible says? Yes, that's right. And because I believe it to be true. If you can find, give me good reasons to show that it's not, then I'm willing to listen. But hold on. You're saying that you're not interested in the truth because you're not interested or not willing to change your beliefs. I've got the in, truth, that's why. <laughs> right, exactly. So, so, so out of the two of us, I'm more open-minded than you. But I, I don't think you have any interest in becoming an atheist today. If you can give me really good reasons if I could, to not I, I, be a Christian and to become an atheist. I could spend 24 hours with you today. The whole day I could spend with you. I don't mind doing depends it. What arguments but I do need you to marshal. eat. I need to have my dinner Depends well. what your arguments you marshal. If you can't argue, uh, marshal good arguments. But let me ask you this question. As an atheist, do yes. you believe in truth as a concept? I, yes, I believe in 100% truth in the fact that, um, as you can see, I'm wearing a black jacket. That is 100% truth. Can you deny the fact that I'm wearing a black jacket? If I'm colorblind, it wouldn't be black. But I'm not colorblind. But so are yeah. you colorblind? No, 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 no. So this is 100% fact. This is 100% truth. 
I'm wearing a black jacket. Well, actually, actually, well, I guess... I Can guess, you deny that? No, I don't. I don't, because I have an interest in truth. But if you're saying... I believe in truth. Are you saying that truth is only... Truth is only a material, observable fact? Is that what you're saying? No, it's more than that, but I'm, I'm, I just gave you one example. Let me give you an, let me get, let me ask you this question. Yes. Okay, prove to me that your mother loves you. Prove to me that your mother loves you? Yes. Yeah, I, well, just, she can just come here and she'll tell you. Right, but what happens if she's lying? Why, why would my mum lie about loving me? It doesn't make sense. But why, 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 well, maybe she's doing it out of self-interest. I, I don't see any other reason. If she didn't love me, she'd tell me, wouldn't she? How do you know? Why would she lie? It doesn't make sense. Why, why would she tell you the truth? Because she's my mother. But how do you, well, how do you know that she loves you? I, I'm, I'm assuming she does. <laughs> but what proof can you marshal to prove that? Just speak to my mother, she'll tell you. Okay, so you're saying her my testimony... My mother's not here, I'm, I'm here on my own You're today. saying her testimony is enough? Yes. Okay, so I say to you, God exists. Is my testimony enough? Not in the case of that, no. Okay, so why is because, it... Because my mum 100% exists. You can't prove to me 100% that I've God exists. I've never denied the existence of your mother. What I drew into question was whether your mother loved you. Yes. So I'll ask you again. What evidence can you prove? What evidence can you bring forward to show that your mother loves you? Well, she'd have to come here and have a chat with you. She'd explain to me that she loves me. That, that will... That, she could be lying to me. Yeah, but that's your opinion, whether she, you think she's lying or not. I, I guess the point I'm trying to make to you yes. is, that, is that we can interpret facts however we want to. Evidence But I just is, gave an example which you cannot deny. I'm wearing a black jacket. And that what is 100% fact. And, um, that is 100% well, truth. Well, no, hold on one second. I'm Firstly, a South Asian man. I've got, I've got glasses on. Can yeah, you and, and, and all of these things... These are all facts. Well, you haven't let me finish my point. Sorry. All of these things are facts. All of these things are true. I have no problem accepting scientific knowledge, right? What I'm saying to you is that the human experience, the, hum the reality of human experience, is more than simple material things. And we know that there are many things we know to be true, even though we have no way of evidencing or proving them. You know your mother loves you, and I'm sure she does. Yes. But you can't prove it. But the experience of her love is as real as the black jacket that you're wearing and the glasses. And the reality of that love is as real to you more than simply the observable material world. Okay, would you agree with me from the evidence, the example that I've used? Yes, yes. That the human experience is broader, deeper and wider than simply uh, the, the, the physicality of that experience. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yes, and you agree with me? Yes, I do. And would you agree with me? But I, that, I already explained to you, that you I, I'm going to come, Jesus. I'm, I'm going to come to that. Yeah. Uh, I, I, would you also agree with me that there is no way that yeah. you could evidence the fact that your mother loves you? She could write a letter about how much she loves me. Yeah, but she could, she could be lying. Well, it's your opinion. It's your opinion. Yes, it is my opinion. Uh, in this hypothetical, in this, do a thought experiment with me. Uh, let us imagine, because obviously your mother is not in dispute here, and, and she really does love you. We both know that, yes. All right? But let us just imagine, for the sake of argument, yes. that your mother has behaved your entire life exactly as you have experienced her for your entire life, but for the whole time she was lying to you. How would you know? Do the thought experiment with me. How would you know? Well, I, 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 I mean, I don't think she would. I don't think she would be lying. No, the thought experiment that I'm asking you to do yeah. is she's behaved exactly as you remember her right now. Yes. Nothing is different. But in the thought experiment that we're doing, we are we are saying that she was lying. That's the thought experiment. Okay. 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 How would you know? Yeah, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know yeah. exactly. And so there is a, a gap between how we interpret facts and, and how we interpret experiences vis-a-vis -vis what we know to be true. Okay, I'll, I'll ask you this question. My relationship with my mother, is that the same relationship that you have with Jesus? What, relation make, what relationship is more real? Do I know that Jesus loves me? Absolutely I do. Yeah, but that, the point is, you've never met Jesus. You have no relationship with Jesus. You don't. You assume you do. 
As a Christian, as a Christian, I believe that I have met Jesus, but it's a spiritual experience. Well, I'm sorry. I think you might I know be dreaming. Not, I think I know, you might be dreaming. That's fine. That's fine. I'm quite. I'm quite happy to dream. Okay. Yeah. Don't knock it off today. Yeah, I'll try my best. I'll try to keep my hands together. Look good now, yeah. I'll try to keep my hands together. So, so my point to you is, right? Just, just, just because SC Dawa has joined us late, uh, I just need to fill you in on the picture. This brother here is a former Muslim. He's now an atheist. So he is, he has rejected Islam, uh, and we're talking about whether um, we can trust the Bible, and on what basis can we know what is true. The life of Jesus. Yeah, we're talking about exactly. We're talking about the life of Jesus. So, so my point to you is, you're saying that your mother could write me a letter. Yes. To tell me of her love. Yes. Well, Paul wrote letters about Jesus, telling of his love. You're saying that your mother could come and talk to me. Well, the first apostles went out and spoke to people. So, so all how do you the, know the apostles weren't lying? That's the same point. Right. Let's let, 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 us, let us deal with that very question. Let us assume. Let's do a thought experiment. The apostles were lying, yes. okay? This is our thought experiment. The apostles were lying, yes. and everything else that we know about the apostles remains true, but they were liars. Now, we know that all except one of the apostles died a martyr's death for the faith that they proclaimed, yes. with the exception of John. We know that lots of people can be deceived and die for uh, a deception. Communists used to blow themselves up in Vietnam against the Americans because they believed in communism, but it was a lie. Have you ever met anyone who's willing to die for something that they knew was a lie? Have you ever heard of someone who's willing to die for something that they knew was a I, lie? I, I can answer you that question. Please. The reason these people died for Jesus is that they couldn't accept that he had lied to them. They couldn't accept that he wasn't the Messiah. Do you understand? So they, they love Jesus that much that they're willing to do it. I'm sure lots of people are willing to die for people they love. Okay, here's, Whether your mother here's my counter-argument to that. Yeah. I can accept that some people can have such a traumatic episode that they will fight against reality. Okay? No, I'm, okay. I'm talking about the love of you yeah, have but of, the, like, but, a, of but, your children or but, your mom or But dad. the witness to the resurrection is multiple different witnesses. Now granted, let's pretend that six out of the 12, let's do a thought experiment, right? Let's say that six out of the 12 were so traumatized by the defeat of Jesus that he wasn't what they wanted him to be. The fact of the matter is that the Christians that went around, according to Bart Ehrman in his latest book, The Triumph of Christianity, was up to 20, up to 20. That's his, that's his argument. This is the scholarship of, of well, 20 Bob people saw the resurrection. Up to 20 people were so convinced that Christ had risen from the dead, it transformed their lives. Now, statistically, to have the kind of psychotic episode that you're talking about, statistically, 20 people having that psychotic episode is impossible. There's just too many. One, two, three, a uh, push, four, really being generous, five, I can, I, I can, I've, but I've got, not 20. I've got a very good point for you here. This, I want you to address my point first. I, 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 think the I think the resurrection is the biggest lie in history. I don't think it happened. So you're saying it's a lie? Yes. Do people die for what they know is a lie? Yeah, but I don't think that actually happened. You're, you're not actually answering my question, so I'll ask you again, and I want you to specifically answer this question. Yes. The question is, yes. do you know of other accounts where people lied for some, died for something that they knew was a lie. Okay, here's why. I, I actually have examples to give you, but I, I want to hear yours. But you have those cult people, and when they do the mass suicide, they probably know the cult. They know the cult is wrong. No, no, no. They died because they believed. No, they probably maybe did it. They no, were no, just no. Crazy. No, they died because they believed. Someone doesn't kill themselves because they think they're lying. No, no, no. The, the point is. Just, I don't respect you, but there must have to be you. All right, okay, fair enough. Um, I think it's a matter of different interpretation. We've got different opinions on this. No, I want you to address this point. Let's not get around it. Yeah. We've got people that you're accusing of lying. Okay, yeah. so we're doing a thought experiment and saying that they are liars. Hello. Do people die for what they know to be not true? I'm sure there are people like that. Give me examples. I can't give you one right now. Any, uh, of Shall I give you an example? You're going to talk about Jesus. No, I'm going to talk about spies. Spies? Spies. 
spies, people that are, are espionage, they, uh, they, there's plenty of accounts in history where people have deliberately died because they knew that, that, that what they were dying, that, that, that they were lying. You know, they were, they were given a false testimony. I'm not a spy, I'm not a spy. And they die because people are accusing them of being a spy. Being a spy. And they're lying when they keep up the lie right up to the moment that they die. Oh yes, because they have to pretend they're not a spy. Yeah, because really what is motivating them yeah. is a deeper truth, yeah? And their opponents have already discovered them. Yes, yeah. You know, yeah. so there's a bit of a psychological weapon, you're killing an innocent man, okay? Now, the apostles, they, these people, they, there was a, a transaction in their mind, an emotional transaction. They were dying for a greater cause, the cause of their country, in a war. Yes. Yeah? Okay? For the apostles to be liars willing to die, they had to be able to gain, to feel that they were gaining something that was greater, or dying for something that was greater than the lie for which they were dying. But the Russia fact of the matter is, in the central teaching of their faith, the whole foci of their identity was that Christ had risen from the dead. There wasn't a greater narrative driving them. They weren't profiting from, there wasn't some other narrative under which the lesser narrative stood that they were willing to sacrifice for the lesser narrative because of the greater narrative. So you believe in all the stories of the idea that there was the empty tomb and they, they hid the, the, hit, um, yes. the, the gods hid his body or something? I mean, no, I don't believe the gods hid his body. I want you to answer the question, do you believe, do you believe that Christ died for, do, do you believe yes. that, that people die for what they know is not true? I'm sure there must be, there must be examples. I've given you my examples. Yeah, give give, give me some some other examples. Something that is not true. Yeah, dying. people dying for what they know isn't true. Yeah. Dying for something, Life. something that is not true. Dying. Maybe it's like a form of like killing or something. Like they know they know killing is wrong, but they can't help it. You're not, you're not giving me an example of what I'm asking for. I'm asking for an example of where people have died for a lie. That they know is a lie. Yeah, I don't think I can give you one at the okay. moment. Okay, so which do you think is more likely? That people died because they believed that what they were dying for was true, or people died because they knew what they were dying for was false? Which is more likely in your human experience? People dying for something they knew was true. People dying for what they believed was true yes. versus people dying for what they know is false. People which die is, for, for something they know is true. Yes. Yeah. Which is which is the that's, more likely? That's, that's more likely. That's more likely. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. in terms of thinking about the apostles, yeah. the fact that they died preaching this religion, yeah. would you agree with me that the evidence indicates that they genuinely believed what they were saying? Yeah. No. No. Mm.